Hey there, it's Kevin Kennedy, and welcome to episode number nine of Fusion Fridays. By the end of this video, you'll know how to repair self-intersecting T-splines in Fusion 360. Whether you've imported a T-spline model from another program, or you're trying to convert your sculpted form into a solid body, getting the self-intersecting T-spline error can be super frustrating. The first thing you should understand is what the error means and why it actually happens. When the error message comes up in the lower right hand corner, you'll see that it highlights the problem area of the model in red. This specific T-spline error is pretty self-explanatory. It's caused by faces that intersect with other faces. Put simply, Fusion 360 won't allow this to happen because two things can't realistically exist in the same exact space. To fix this error, we'll take a look at some common solutions to get rid of the intersecting geometry. If I hit finish form, you'll see the red errors on the model. Now, depending on your model and error, you may end up having more than one spot that needs to be fixed, and that's okay. I recommend tackling them one by one. Unless your model is symmetric, then you can turn on symmetry to try to fix multiple errors at once. If we take a look at this headphone model that I sculpted, you'll see that we have the self-intersecting error on both sides of the headband. It looks like I pushed or pulled a little bit too far, causing the edge of the pad to collide with the headband faces. The first thing to always check is the repair body command, which may be able to fix any errors for you, although it usually won't fix most self-intersecting errors. If I select repair body from the utilities drop-down list, you'll see that the first thing the dialog prompts you to do is to select the T-spline body. So I'll go ahead and select the T-spline body, then you'll see in the bottom of the box that you can toggle on and off different air labels to check. I'll go ahead and leave everything checked on, and you'll notice that as I click on repair body, it doesn't actually do anything, and that's because it's not detecting any T-point or star point errors. Now to briefly explain this, a star point is any point that has three five or more faces all converging at a single point, essentially making a star shape. If the star is yellow, that means everything is good, but if a star is red, there may be a problem with an edge or face not being tangent or collinear. So star points also determine how a T-spline will be converted to a B-rep. When a T-spline is converted to a B-rep, it will split into separate surfaces at each star point. Now on the other hand, T-points are the areas where faces converge to make a T-shape. You can think of a T-shape as all the spots that converge that are perpendicular to one another. Now after you check the repair body tool to see if it will fix any errors, the next thing to do is to switch the model to the box display mode by hitting Ctrl plus 1 on Mac or Option plus 1 on Windows. Or you can also do it by selecting the Utilities drop-down list, then Display Mode. Then in the Display Mode dialog box, you can select the first icon, which is the Box Display. Now using this Box Display Mode will not only make it easier to find the self-intersecting errors, but it will also help us select the correct faces in order to fix them. Now because my model is symmetrical, I'm going to turn symmetry on, so I just have to fix the one side, and then you'll notice that the other side will go ahead and update accordingly. I'll select mirror from the symmetry drop-down list, and I'm going to first click on the right side of the headband, and then I'll click on the opposite face. Then you'll see that the green symmetry lines now appear. I can now zoom in on the headband, and while holding down the shift key on the keyboard, I will select the two faces that appear to be intersecting, and I'm just going to use the single axis arrow to drag them down. 
I'll click OK to exit the edit form feature, and I'll hit Control or Option plus 3 to switch back to the smooth mode. Now the headband already looks so much better, so let's go ahead and select Finish Form and see if it will now convert to a solid body. And there you go. You'll see that now the model will in fact convert from a T-spline model to a solid body. So to summarize this, if you ever get a self-intersecting error in the sculpt environment, then I recommend first using the Repair Body tool, which may help you catch any other errors that you have. Then I recommend switching to the box display mode because it'll make it easier to see and move the intersecting faces. And of course, the last step is to actually hit edit form and then use the edit form icons to move the faces in the direction necessary until the faces are no longer intersecting. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all about this tutorial or Fusion 360 questions in general, then be sure to comment them below. Hit that thumbs up icon if you learned something in this video and click subscribe followed by that little bell icon to be notified of more Fusion 360 tutorials.